Welcome to the Chicago Bears franchise from Lambeau Field. We have one of the classic NFL rivalries, the Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers. The Bears swept the season series a year ago and enter with a 1-1 one one record. They did lose their first game of the season last week in overtime to Kansas City, but it was a very entertaining game. And Andrew Leonard had to play most of the game at quarterback and did so very well. Now Mitchell Trubisky is back for this week and the Bears are hoping to get a big road win here against Green Bay. Off we go and Randall Cobb takes a knee as number 12 Aaron Rodgers takes the field. The Packers are 0-2 after having the worst record in the NFL a year ago. It's Aaron Rodgers on first down firing to the open man. Randall Cobb stays on his feet momentarily and picks up 22 yards. The Bear defense is coming off a rough showing against Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City offense. Here's Russell making the catch as the Packers quickly get across midfield. Now they're showing blitz in the A-gaps and they send five. Rodgers with time finds the ex-Bear. It's Martellus Bennett to the 40-yard line. Going right after this secondary early on. First and 10. Now they fake it. Rodgers another throw. He'll wait for an opening. Now scramble out and there's no one home. So Rodgers can run and picks up the first down. It's a gain of 17 and Rodgers is shaken up on the play after the hit by Danny Trevathan. Well, I guess they brought number four out of retirement. It's not Brett Favre, but Brian Hoyer wearing the legendary number as Marquis Starling makes the stop. Here's Hoyer on third down. The blitz is picked up. And Hoyer's pass is cut on the outside by Randall Cobb. This is so strange seeing someone else wear that number in a Green Bay uniform. Here is Hamid Matthews, the rookie running back, getting stacked up inside the five, maybe a two-yard pickup. Now we see Aaron Rodgers back in the game for Green Bay. It's not a serious injury, and there's another stop, this time by Danny Trevathan. Green Bay gets the field goal on their opening possession, and now Chicago takes over with the spread formation for Mitchell Trubisky. Back in action this week as he throws wildly for Harlan Regis. Bears open up with a more aggressive approach than normal. They do run it now, and trapped in the backfield is Howard, and he's in pain. Tackled by Mike Daniels, and Howard's grabbing at that right arm, it appears. Tariq Cohen is now the tailback, third and 12. Trubisky runs out of time, and he's going down. Great start for this Packer defense. Already about halfway through this opening quarter as Green Bay takes over. It's Rodgers to the wide open, Martellus Bennett. I remember when it was him, Jeffrey, and Brandon Marshall, and this Bear offense was completely different. We've worked on rebuilding the offense. Now third and six, it's Matthews on the screen, and he's going nowhere. Bears get the stop this time. No Jordan Howard, and the Bears now turn to the rookie, C.J. Ross, who gets his first carry and loses three. Ross made his debut last week, and he made some plays, showed some talent. Now on third down, it's Trubisky to Paul Richardson as the chains move. Now from the pistol, they'll try the run again as Ross again, nowhere to go. Such a tough Packer front. This run defense has been good for a long time. On second and long, it's a screen to the tight end. Adam Shaheen to the outside. And he won't go down. First down, Adam Shaheen. What a play. Shaheen was also taken out of last week's game with an injury. The Bears had to battle through losing him, Trubisky, and Meredith. Now Trubisky outside the pocket finds Richardson to set up an easier third down. Cohen the back, needing four. Trubisky's quick throw is broken up by Ha Ha Clinton Dix. Shaheen was the target, and I'll admit I was very amused watching this ball continue to spin and spin forever. The Packers take over now, up 3-0. First quarter coming to a close with Rodgers short and good coverage by Adrian Amos. Stops Bennett for a few yards. Third down Green Bay, the blitz is on, and Rodgers throws through the hands of Robbie Anderson. It's a three and out again. On to the second quarter with Chicago in the tight formation. They'll hand it to C.J. Ross, who gets some room this time and is stopped by Blake Martinez. 
Owen also getting a lot of snaps now. It's third and four. Trubisky hits the first down pass to Cameron Meredith as he rolls his way across the 40. Ross back in the game. He gets it again, but doesn't get very much. This defensive line is owning the battle up front. Third and seven for Trubisky. An extra blocker in to help. And he gets plenty of time, but Trubisky waits too long. And there were open opportunities downfield. That was just a bad play. Certainly not the same excitement and intensity that week two brought us as Green Bay still leads 3-0. Rodgers short and Bennett stopped shy of the marker by Eddie Jackson. Jackson with an interception in each of the first two games. Now it's a third down or second down run rather and Hamid Matthews moves the chains. Three receiver set, Matthews the give and again stopped on first contact and that is Amos. Third and long for Green Bay with that running game not helping them out very much. Here's Rodgers off his back foot to Matthews. Cuts up field and uses his strength to get the first down as Marcus Calhoun brings him down in Bear territory. Green Bay close to scoring range and this is a catch. Great job by Devontae Adams. Cobb and Adams line up left as they'll run right behind two tight ends. Jackson there, Matthews driving ahead. Good effort as Trevathan finally brings him to the ground. Just 12 yards on the ground for Green Bay as they give it now to Jeremy Langford. The ex-Bear moves the chains. Langford had 11 touchdowns in his two-year Bears career. Rodgers back to pass on second down. Here's Randall Cobb inside the 10 as it makes this first in goal for Green Bay. Rodgers very efficient on these short throws. They'll run it now and Langford is stuffed. That is Leonard Floyd back at the 11. Third down, Bears trying to protect the end zone. Rodgers rolls out. Now he looks to run it. Rodgers out of room at the five yard line. The Bears stop them again. The offenses have struggled today with a 6-0 Packer lead as the half approaches. C.J. Ross still struggling to get going as Jordan Howard has not returned and will not return to today's game. Here's third and nine. Now as the pressure gets there at Trubisky and he finds Richardson. I thought this drive was over, but Trubisky helps make the play. Now the Bears have it at the 44. Outside now, it's Cohen now outrunning Blake Martinez into Packer territory as the Bears enter field goal range. Opening up the field now with a spread formation. Here's Trubisky quickly, and Shaheen lost it. They call it incomplete, not a fumble. Cohen returns to the backfield now, third and 10. Trubisky again looking his way. Good catch in the first down again. Cohen showing his value as a pass catcher. Bears still have plenty of time. Quick throw again. Now it's Richardson with the grab at the sideline. The Bears preserving a lot of clock on this drive. Third and one. It's Ross, and they'll get the yardage necessary. But Ross is at nine yards on his six carries. First down and ten. Trubisky quickly again. Now the catch is made by the young Marquis Cole. Ball down to the five. Motion now from Harlan Regis. Trubisky throwing short. It's Ross taken down inside the one. First and goal, Bears. They line up in the eye. Looking to throw. Trubisky for the touchdown. It's the rookie Harlan Regis scoring the first touchdown of his career. He made big plays against Kansas City, but now he finally finds the end zone. And with the extra point, the Bears could take the lead. Raiders kick is up and through, and Chicago waits until the final minute to take the lead from Green Bay. 7-6 going into the break. We'll see if the second half brings us more action in this game. Back to action here in week three with Chicago leading Green Bay, and we've had a lot of success against them in this series. We're hoping for another win today. Bear football without their star tailback Jordan Howard as C.J. Ross is getting a lot of the work. Third and seven now for Chicago from the empty set. Looking long, Trubisky finds Regis! And he's in the clear! Touchdown! 
Regis scores his first touchdown right before halftime and his second right after. This time we see that dangerous speed. And this is why the Bears had to make him a first round pick. He is a special player. 14-6 Chicago. As Green Bay now looks to get back in the driver's seat, it's Matthews getting to the outside. Good run, his best of the game. Outside of a couple plays in this game, neither running game has done much. Here's Bennett now on the short throw, falling ahead. Good pickup, setting up third and short. Packers just need one now. They get into a good situation. Pitch it outside. Matthews is tackled by Eddie Jackson. Again, the run game fails. Back we go to Chicago. Are we going to see Harlan Regis again? Well, right now it's going to be another rookie, C.J. Ross, who fights his way ahead for about six yards. Chicago spreads the field, trying to find some way to run against this Packer defense, and Ross does move the chains. Now it's Ross and Cohen next to Trubisky. Five in to protect, and down goes Trubisky. The ball is loose and scooped up by Kyle Long, but another big loss for Chicago, and Trubisky is again down. And now he's grabbing at his knee, and he's in a lot of pain. The rush got there very quickly. That was Quinton Dial against Josh Sitton. And the Bears keep the football, but Andrew Leonard is back in the game. He played a lot of last week's game, too. They'll throw a screen pass now. Tariq Cohen doesn't have a lot of space, and they'll end up kicking again on fourth down. But we'll see if Mitchell Trubisky can return to this game. Chicago up by eight. Green Bay with Rodgers getting outside the pocket finds Adams. He was looking his direction the entire way. First down. Bunch formation. They toss it out. Matthews now is tackled. Good play by Marcus Calhoun. 29 yards on 17 carries. That's not very good. Third down now for Green Bay against the blitz. They counter perfectly. The screen to Matthews will move the chains. Green Bay gets up to midfield. Rodgers still just one in completion on the day. He'll look to throw it again. Caught by Bennett. Packers inside the 40. 4.55 to go in the third quarter. It's a stretch. Matthews gets to the outside and is taken down. Eddie Jackson. Matthews continues to stay under two yards a carry. Third and a dozen. Quick throw again. And Bennett very close. Falls ahead. And he is marked just short of the sticks. They'll bring out Nick Folk for another field goal try. Green Bay with no touchdowns, and Chicago has a 14-9 lead. And Mitchell Trubisky is returning to the game. He is okay. Here's C.J. Ross not getting much. There's no running game that takes some of the weight off of the young quarterback. Trubisky on second down, now scrambles out. He's running fine and dives ahead to move the sticks. 10-yard pickup. Ball at the 41-yard line, two tight ends from the pistol. And this is Ross, and again, not much. Pickup of two. Cohen checks in now. They'll fake it to him. Trubisky rolling right. Fires wildly, missing Max Williams, who had broken open. Another tough third down, Bears need seven. Everyone lines up tight, and the rush gets to Trubisky very quickly. Tony Garcia beaten by Mike Daniels. Green Bay taking over again with the third quarter coming to an end right here. Matthews is taken down quickly. And that time it was Starling. There's the blitz look from Chicago. Third and seven, they back off. Rodgers outside and open. Robbie Anderson with the first. Stays on his feet and is finally stopped after a gain of 12. These teams have had trouble sustaining their drives beyond one or two first downs. Now Rodgers looking deep and overthrows Randall Cobb. That was maybe their most aggressive play call all day long. Rodgers setting up a screen on second down. Matthews has a couple blocks. Tries to spin back to the inside. He is stopped at the 42. Another big third down as Chicago brings five. They can't get to Rodgers who finds Devontae Adams working against the rookie Curry Peters. It looks like Marcus Calhoun was shaken up on that last play as Rodgers floats it up top and that's broken up. Curry Peters wins that play. 
You have to bounce back as a corner, and that's what Peters did right there. Rodgers now third and ten, looking for an opening, and he won't find it. He is sacked by Pernell McPhee, well outside of field goal range. There are the numbers for Mitchell Trubisky. Nothing too exciting, but two touchdown passes to Harlan Regis as he throws it quickly here, finding Max Williams, who was pretty much wide open. First down. Regis and Meredith, the receivers. Deep drop, Trubisky now is intercepted for the first time this season, and it's Demarius Randall with a chance to score, but Trubisky saves the touchdown. First INT of the season as Trubisky doesn't see Randall there playing the zone coverage. Pass intended for Max Williams. Rodgers and the Packers now have a chance to take the lead, but Matthews is again stuffed. He hasn't gone anywhere on the ground. They'll try him again. Matthews now gets maybe one yard, and that's all. Are they going to try it again? Chicago stacks the box, and they bring in Eddie Jackson to stuff Matthews in the backfield. Fourth down, and the Packers are going nowhere. You have to think they're throwing it this time. And Rodgers does drop back to pass. Gets time, and finds Bennett. Touchdown, Green Bay. They have retaken the lead here in the fourth quarter. They capitalize off the Demarius Randall interception as Bennett gets between the two linebackers covering the middle of the field. The Bears definitely missed Marcus Calhoun on that snap. Now it's a two-point try as Rodgers finds Randall Cobb and now it's a field goal lead for the green and gold. Can the Bears bounce back from Trubisky's turnover? Trailing with eight and a half minutes to go. They'll try Ross again. He and Matthews have not had very fun days. Both teams have had to rely on their passing game. Second down and quickly this is caught by Regis as Trubisky took another hit. Now facing the third and three. Ross to tail back, Trubisky to pass. Pressure's on quickly. He's forced out to his right and can pick up the first down himself. Sliding down inside the Green Bay 45-yard line. Another good play by Trubisky as the Bears get closer to field goal range and now they could be there. Catch made by Cameron Meredith. The clock now runs inside six minutes. Trubisky on second down will move the chains with Adam Shaheen. And the ball moves inside the 30. 224 yards, two touchdowns, one pick for Trubisky. Now it's Ross working to the outside, and he won't find any daylight out here either. Non-existent rushing attacks. Now it's a third and 11. Trubisky needs to make a play, and air mails Paul Richardson, who had an opening. That is a big miss, and that'll force out Matt Prater to kick from left hash. The 47-yard try is good, and we're tied up. But the Bear defense needs to be ready to go to defend Aaron Rodgers with four minutes left. He's going play action. Rodgers checks it down. Russell, though, has some room, and that gets about nine yards. Rodgers now over 200 yards passing. They'll try a second down run. Matthews will move the chains and get three. But wow, 26 carries in just 33 yards. Rodgers now on the quick throw finds Randall Cobb, who's had a pretty good game today working against Prince of Mukamara. Down the two minutes left, Packers approaching field goal range. Flag on the play, Rodgers takes off and does get about 10, but this play is coming back. A very big penalty as the Packers get called for holding. That really helps out this Bear defense. Now it's a second and 22. Rodgers has time, but checks it down. Good pickup here by Matthews, gets the lost yardage back. And now for a very big third down. From the 45, Packers in the eye formation. And they look to run it. Matthews doesn't get much. Starling brings him down. And we're going to see a field goal try. They were trying to set up Nick Folk. It's a 61-yard attempt. And Folk's kick is no good. The wind was at their back, but it wasn't enough. Maybe 57, 58, that's good. Instead, the Bears take over at about midfield, and the first play of the drive is a first down to Meredith. And he puts the Bears in real field goal range.
What a momentum swing here with just a minute 13 to go. Here's Cohen running right. He doesn't get far. Packers using their timeouts now. They have one remaining. Another give. Cohen on the stretch. Has some room. Makes his move. There's the opening. Touchdown. At last. Something exciting from the rushing game. And it's a Tariq Cohen touchdown. His second of the year. What a play, working off that Cameron Meredith block. Cohen having a great impact with his opportunities this year. Now, it's an extra point for Prater. And there you go, Chicago up seven. Can they hang on for one minute and three seconds? The Packers are down to their last chance. Just one timeout left, they have to go and get a touchdown. Rodgers through the hands again of Martellus Bennett. That's his second drop. Graham Dirth is now shaken up for Chicago. The Bears having a lot of injuries on defense today. Matthews now is stopped after a gain of maybe seven. Packers have to pick up the tempo on third down. Rodgers steps up. Now he's looking deep, and it's intercepted. That should end the game. Prince Amukamara wins it for Chicago. Another victory for the Chicago Bears against the Green Bay Packers. And Mitchell Trubisky has had a lot of success against this team. It was not the same exciting matchup we saw last week. But the Bears get it done despite some drama in the fourth quarter. You've got to find a way to win games like this if you're going to be a playoff team. The Bears are still a long way from that. But they're off to a 2-1 start. Nice win here for Chicago as again the defense played very well, especially against the run. And that's what they struggled with last week, especially when Tank Elliott was the running back for Kansas City. Neither team could run the football today. I expected us to have more success passing and that's why we opened up the game empty and I wanted to throw it. Their secondary is very thin. We didn't have a big passing day, but we did have a couple big plays thanks to the rookie Harlan Regis, who scored the first two touchdowns of his career. Those are the only two passing touchdowns for Mitchell Trubisky this year, and he has one interception in two and part of a third game. Obviously, he's dealt with a couple injuries already this season. I'm really hoping nothing serious happens, and I'm trying to make sure he's not taking too much contact. There were some plays that could have been better, and there was one in the first half where there was like a wide open receiver over the middle, and I just kind of froze there. I'm not even sure what happened. That was the one play that really bugged me. But while Trubisky was hurt and did return, there were a lot of players that got hurt and could not return today. And here are the injuries from today's game. Marcus Calhoun, Jalen Egbo, and Bram Dirth are all going to miss four weeks. Shoulder injuries for Calhoun and Egbo, and a pulled groin for Bram Dirth. So I wanted to go make a signing here for a coverage linebacker, and I decided to sign Jordan Seiler off of the New Orleans practice squad. I saw how much we struggled when Calhoun had to leave the game, so I know we have to have a coverage linebacker who is ready to help some of those throws. We are going to sign Tank Boone to the practice squad as a result and go ahead with three healthy safeties. Our road trip continues in week four as the Bears will face the Atlanta Falcons. And I expect our defense to be tested more against them. For whatever reason, Green Bay just hasn't been able to play well against us. And it won't help that our defense won't be at full strength. Dante Rooks will now start. This was something he did a lot last year filling in for Akeem Hicks. And hopefully we can contain the likes of Julio Jones and Devontae Freeman, who scored, I think it was like five touchdowns against us in the first game of the series. The Falcons are also 2-1, but are coming off a loss to the Indianapolis Colts. I expect a pretty good game and more offense than we saw today. We'll see if we're ready. This could be one of the games where the offense has to score a lot more points. But we'll see if the Bears can go on the road and get win number three. Thank you all for watching today's episode of the Chicago Bears franchise. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This week there will be more MLB The Show content than normal with MLB The Show 18 being brand new. But I'll be getting some football on the channel as well, probably a lot more later in the week. I'll see you next time. Have a great day everybody.